Hello there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a movie review of the movie American Graffiti. <sighs> Whip my whistle there. Um, this movie came out in 1973, although I think it came out later than that. I'm going by what I researched, and I could have sworn it came out later. I don't know. It, uh, I'm going to go with 73, because that's the information that I found. Uh, this is a comedy drama, and it is an American classic. People talk about this, in, in, they'll quote lines from it, or they'll they'll mention it, and immediately memories of the movie come into your head. It's just, it's wonderful. If you've not seen it, you really need to see it. Um, the movie came out, in 19, like I said, 1973, and the plot is, on the last night of summer in 1962... Before they head off to college, friends in a small Southern California town experience a wild night of adventure. Excuse me, including a street gang, fights, pranks, <laughs> drag races, and <laughs> one of them gets stuck with a preteen passenger. So he's kind of an ad hoc babysitter, as it were, and he keeps trying to get rid of her. <laughs> um. This movie is youthful nostalgia at its finest, and it is brilliant. And it's got a great cast. If you've if you've not seen it, you're gonna love this. Um, Richard Dreyfus, Paul Lamatt, Ron Howard, Charles Martin Smith, Cindy Williams, Candy Clark, Wolfman Jack, and if you don't remember him, he's a great radio personality. Uh, Mackenzie Phillips, Bo Hopkins, Harrison Ford. Kathleen Quinlan and Bo Gentry. There was a bunch of others that I didn't. I just didn't have room on the page. <laughs> uh, if if you get a chance, pay attention to all of these. There's not a bad one in the bunch. Whoever cast this deserves an award. Whenever I do the movies, I try to do a standout. Uh, and again, every member of this cast is outstanding. It's a solid, solid cast. Each and every actor sold their role to perfection. Yeah. Watching this movie puts you in that situation. A lot of movies you watch it and you're like, yeah, you know. In this, you're like, you're there, you know. And it's not because, and don't get me wrong, the the screenplay and the 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 character development and the acting and all that, the the excuse me, the screenplay and the 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 camera work and all that, they did a good job there. There's you don't see any, as far as I know, you don't see any things in the background that give it away but it's the acting that really puts you there you know for the standout i i always try to go with a standout <laughs> sometimes i'm not able to and in this one i chose charles martin smith he plays the character toad um and yeah toad's a nickname yeah uh this guy plays the nerd doofus role better than anyone i've ever seen he fits it well I guess for the time, yes. If you if you're doing modern time, I'd have to go with Napoleon Dynamite, the guy that does Napoleon Dynamite. But in this one, it's Toad, uh, Charles Martin Smith, and he fits this role perfectly. He he looks the part, he acts the part, he knows the part. One would think he possibly lived <laughs> the part, but I, regardless, it doesn't matter. This guy, if he's if he if he knew the part well, they chose well for him to play the part. If he didn't know the part well, this guy's an even better actor than I thought. He's really, really good. And in there, there is a sequel to this movie, American Graffiti. I want to say it's part two or whatever. Uh, Toad ends up in Vietnam. And it's uh, you, you got you to gotta watch it. It's really good. Um, but I'm not talking about the, the sequel. I'm talking about this original one, American Graffiti really really good movie if you get a chance to see it it's from 1973 and it's time well spent you folks have a good day god bless one and all